Zambian President Edgar Lungu has justified imposing a state of emergency in the Southern African country, alleging that opposition party were behind a string of arson attacks intended to, quote, create terror and panic. Several fires, including one that burnt down the main market in the capital Lusaka, have been at the center of a rising political tension in Zambia. Lungu added that if the International Monetary Fund found the emergency powers to be ill-advised, it was free to terminate talks meant to provide financial assistance to Zambia. This power I've invoked is only for seven days because Parliament is sitting. So we have to move a motion in Parliament. And if IMF thinks we have gone beyond uh, the norms of good governance and democracy, they are free to go. Zambia has enjoyed relative stability since its first multi-party election in 1991. But last year's election was marked by clashes between rival supporters with the opposition leader still in detention on treason charges. The main opposition party argues that Lungu's use of emergency powers was unnecessary and that it is a ploy to make it easier for police to arrest opposition supporters. The state of emergency laws in Zambia increase police powers of detention and arrest as well as prohibit public meetings and closed roads, something that many Zambians feel will be an infringement of their rights. When uh, there is uh, a state of emergency, that uh, all the rights are taken away from us. So now, like, uh, if my rights are taken away from me, for instance, I am not going to live. How can I live as a human being? No freedom of movement, no freedom of speech, no freedom of uh, expression. You understand? For me as a student, I think it's going to be inconveniencing if I'm going to have time limits as to when I'm supposed to go to school. I think it's going to be inconvenient because I would have some time that I've set for myself maybe to study. So if I'm having those limits, it's going to inconvenience my work at school. The state of emergency is to control the crime which is happening by the day of the time. Because uh, as you can see, people are taking advantage of the movement of people. The country's last state of emergency was declared in 1997 by the then president, Frederick Chiluba, after an attempted coup. It was lifted the following year. Vic Chege, CGTN.